what the ladies talking about. What's up, family? We got this guy by the name of Greg Piotic who was visiting the September 11 Memorial in New York City with some friends. He stopped by this bar called West Village and he claimed that the bar discriminated against him because he was wearing a MAGA hat. Why would somebody wear that type of hat anywhere in the first place? I mean, just wearing the hat tells me something is wrong with you and I probably would discriminate against you. But going further into the story, he sued claiming the incident offended his sense of being an American. <laughs> Thank God for decent judges. As a judge by the name of Justice David Korn, who tossed the lawsuit out, saying that the law doesn't protect against political discrimination. Yeah. Now the bar owner also deny that any of this stuff even happened. He said that this is a publicity stunt. This is what old Greg said. He claimed the bar staff refused to serve him after seeing his MAGA hat. He claims that after he and his friends complained about the rule service, the staff said, anyone who supports Trump or believes in what you believe is not welcome here and you need to leave right now because we won't serve you. So the owner says that on top of lying, he's lying because the dude had a $186 tab. He tipped $36, which is roughly 19.4% of the bill. Amazing. Now y'all tell me, just, just let's just use some common sense. Let's use a little common sense. Would you tip 20% for bad service? I know I wouldn't, and I'm sure he wouldn't either. See, that's a dude that went in there, had too much to drink. They say they ordered 17 drinks, he and his buddies. 17 drinks, had too much to drink, Started getting loud, boisterous, obnoxious. And finally, they was like, we can't continue to serve you. And he was like, you know what, dude? One of his buddies was like, you know what? It's because of your hat. That's why they won't serve you. Is it because of the hat? Is it because of the hat? Yeah, it's because of my hat. <laughs> and somebody said, yeah, listen, you know what? You should sue them for that. You should sue them for your hat because they wouldn't allow you to come in because of your hat. They didn't let you come in because you, you're a uh, Trump supporter. They kicked you out because you're a Trump supporter. Now, think about what I'm saying, y'all. If he walked in there with a, a, a Make America Great Again hat on, off the top, if they really wanted to discriminate against him, they could have easily just said, get out the first time, right? They wouldn't have served him 17 drinks. They wouldn't have let them... Uh, tally up a $186 bill. They would have did what I would have did out the gate. Get your ass up out of here. I ain't serving you shit. I don't care what the law say. And that's without even knowing that I could discriminate politically. You know, I would have kicked their ass out straight up out of here because anybody that put on, put on one of those hats, they're walking around looking for trouble. They're looking for a reaction. That's why people do stuff like that. The same reason why people put that kind of stuff on their bumpers. You know, you'll put on some old crazy saying on your bumper, you know, you know, I'm a Republican or I'm a Democrat, you know, you don't like it, kiss my, you, you know, all that stuff. People do that stuff for a reaction. And sometimes the reaction ain't what they looking for. So I believe he's a con just like Don. And... I think it's a good thing for restaurants to discriminate based on political affiliation. I think that's a great thing. Uh, I wish that more restaurants would do that. Uh, maybe I could enjoy my meal better. Uh, the environment would be better. In fact, you know what they ought to start doing? They should start posting 
on the outside of restaurants and on the websites, party affiliation. And you know what I'm saying? That way you can get a good idea. Like, you know, okay, I know what they're about. I ain't going up in there because they probably don't like me. So I'm not going to even go in there. I mean, this will help out both sides, right? If you know you're not wanted, don't go in there. That's the way I see it. I don't know why people continue to go into places and spend their money where they're not wanted. I got to feel appreciated, man. I work hard for my money. I value my money, man. And I don't appreciate anybody not showing me my respect when I'm patronizing their business. So that's the way I feel about it. I feel like the bomb is lying. He looked like a liar. <laughs> I guess I'm going too far. Huh? <laughs> but, you know, some people do look like liars. And, you know, he's a Trump supporter, so you can't put it past him. Trumpsters should be thrown in dumpsters. I know I'm pissing some of y'all off, huh? Some of those Trump supporters are watching me right now. Boy, they fuming. They want to do something to me, but they can't. <laughs> All they can do is get online and go... <laughs> Good people, I need you to do something for me. Hit that recall button and tell me if you can remember when the trumpets yelled in excitement when the lady in Tennessee refused to service anyone who was with the Women's March. Remember that? Boy. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Damn. I tell you, man, if it wasn't for double standards, the trumpets wouldn't have standards at all. Good job, Judge. Good job, man. I want to shake your hand one day. In other news, Donald Trump was spotted kissing and holding hands with a French man early in the week. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.